All good. Down TV versus Alex. Um, <laughs> but he's not at all bad, is it? We'll get a wizard for starters. And then have a look. Um, he's got three guards. But no mighty blow at all. So that's nice. And <laughs> he's got three loners, but that's good, isn't it? <laughs> Might get us easier games. Yeah, Kano was the first when it meant something. When it meant something, Kano was the first. And then, uh, I don't know if Lupak was before Fash. Fash might have been before Lupak, you know. I was definitely after both of those. I'm sure I was after Lupak. I don't know. It was when Lupak got partnered that he started acting like a complete dickhead. <laughs> In Blood Bowl. So, I didn't want to do that when I got partnered. So, it was de he definitely got partnered first. But I don't know if Fash got partnered before him or not. But he definitely got partnered before me. Hello. Yeah, that is. That was what I wanted to try. Yeah, to be honest, uh, Satterfield, I, I wanted to try that. I wanted to try the strategy. This was the strategy that I had. Just to try to, you know, run all these journeymen. See what happens. Fair enough. So I guess Lupak was almost the first person to get part the first Blood Bowl to get partnered then because Kano was like, you know, was before Blood Bowl two he was partnered, wasn't he? Lupak was the first Blood Bowl two one to get to get partnered then. Because Kano was partnered after Blood Bowl one, I think. Uh, <laughs> fair enough, J5. Hello, Flicky Flat. Do now, he got out. Lupak got out. I'm sure he's happy to be playing uh, fucking that shit game that he plays. What is it? Banging on rocks, the game. Game audio is not on because of the thing the other day. Thank you. I never uh, remember that. Right, now it's alright, thank you. The wrestling uh, fucks me over on that. The wrestling, streaming the wrestling fucks with the sound. Uh, messes up the sound. I'm going to try not to swear. Hello, Calcium. <laughs> Speaking of not swearing, here's Calcium. I don't understand how Lupac's still playing Albion, but. It's got to be better than playing Blood Bowl, hasn't it? <laughs> I'd rather just shovel shit in real life. <laughs> Play a blood ball. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, it would be a GFI. I think it doesn't really matter because he can block anyway. No, I didn't stand these guys up first. Oh, I play on Xbox. Oh no! <laughs> 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 
yield dwarf line. <laughs> dove, 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 dove. <laughs> Have you play, been playing this for 30 years, J5? I've been playing this game for 30 years as well. <laughs> 30 years. Sounds bad when you say it out loud, doesn't it? <laughs> to be fair, it's more like 26 because the original Blood Bowl was unrecognisable compared to third ed it's still second ed though that I remember of like you know with the art and everything and the fluff that's what I uh, that's what I think of when I think of Blood Bowl I still think of second ed rather than weapon snipped assholes <laughs> exactly at Royal yeah yeah hitting rocks for living sounds better really <laughs> Yeah, the tabletop's hard to count, isn't it? Yeah. Not quite 30 years squad. Yeah, it was 1990 was when I moved to Darlow. And there was a Chips Game Store. And I went there and they had the Warhammer Fortress. And then they had some box sets. And they had Blood Bowl there. And I looked at the art and I was like, holy shit, that's amazing. And that's why I got it. So there you go. There you go. He's gunning for the get all my guys punched tactic, which will probably work out for him. Up, up, peace, peace, peace. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was it. The Astro Granite. Yeah, obviously the models and that. Like, it's because I, I played, what's it called? Uh, Hero Quest, isn't it? Hero Quest. And then Inside Hero. The, w the way I found out about it all was Inside Hero Quest. They had, like, you know, the, uh, the Chaos Warriors and shit. And they were like, look, this is what you can do with them. You can paint them like this. And I saw the painted models and I was like, wow, that's amazing. And then, um, and then uh, they they had a thing on the box. They had like you know, this is where you can find uh, stores to buy them. And then it had it mentioned the thing there. I think I'm not entirely sure, but it was something like that. Let's put him over here. Oh, baby. We've got some herb derpening. <laughs> no, shit. Calcium can't see it. I can't see it. Give me a second. Right, there you go. It should, should show up now if you try to post that link again. I never played Warhammer Quest for long enough. Oh wow, Hero Quest Reboot. Wow. Nine days, that's good, isn't it? Fucking Hero Quest. I think I just threw it all away as well. I had like all the expansions, I had Advanced Hero Quest as well. I really liked Advanced Hero Quest because it had rules for solo play. Which when you're a, when you're a kid with no friends, that's brilliant, isn't it? 
<laughs> Nobody could ever, I mean, I could never play anything with friends because they're all shit, <laughs> basically. Imagine trying to play Blood Bowl with, like, real humans. They're just all crap. <laughs> None of them can even spell Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, here we go. He's he's herb derped to the max. That's two dice in the ball, isn't it? Right, we just got a GFI, that's the only thing. That's the only thing. You can punch him first. Start off with a low on a block. Get him in there. Motherfucker. I'll read what he's got to say in a minute. Until then, I've just got to punch him. Done that, but then you know, if it's a push, then I get 2D on him with Mighty Blow, which is nice, isn't it? Yeah, Warhammer Quest, full door. Glorious SF. Dribbling over the contents of Hero Quest. <laughs> Jibbo. Hello, Dio. Oh, yeah, no, well, uh, no, it's not. <laughs> a few old men and a couple of boys, yeah. <laughs> Still only got one D after a double GFI. Might not even make it. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> Glorious. Oh, I could block. No, let's just let's not be silly. Let's not be silly. If I could be serious for a minute. Choose. Nah, I don't want to do that. I want to. back here.
Yeah, no, I'm, I'll do Yap Count when it's necessary, but it's not necessary, is it, right now? Is it necessary that I drink my own urine every day? No. But I do it anyway, because it's sterile. And I like the taste. Punchy, punchy. Make a punchy son. A lot of knockdowns that turn, wasn't there? <laughs> Listen, isn't that what you pick apart everything I do wrong? Oh, that's cool. That's cool, isn't it? That's nice of him. Should have turned out for a season. Hello, Pedro. Yeah, that was pretty lucky, wasn't I, in the playoffs? Dwarves in table. Dwarves were brilliant in second ed. Dwarves. Dwarves were like ridiculously overpowered in second ed football. <coughs> <laughs> Old men loses and creeps. Wow, that's a bit harsh. Hello, twice hopped. Um, I don't know. I was thinking of selling my bath water, to be honest, like old Belle Delphine. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I think I'll just score here. That's where I was going to run back because then I've got more turns to stall, haven't I? Like, easier to stall it out than if I run back. Maybe I should have run back that turn. But I thought it wasn't so easy. Yeah, I could have killed two birds with one stone then, couldn't I, Pedro? <laughs> I could do. <laughs> Hey. Right, I'm just going to punch some people. Punch with the uh, non loners. Ce joueur a l'air plutôt fier d'être resté debout. Le plus dur sera la chute. Glorious. <laughs> Just minor. The coaching I needed I need to sort out a proper coaching through Discord and then like just have Patreon count as discounts for the uh, for the coaching and then that would make more sense. And then everyone who's already been a Patreon can have the right amount of discounts I was thinking. I thought that could be a good idea and then like redeem them. That could be a thing. Runners, they, uh, the runners a touchdown away, isn't he? Two for the blitzer. One for the long beard. This long beard, then I guess. This long beard, Tuddy. If it's if it's super easy and this glitzer if it's not so easy. 
Rebel Simulator. <laughs> yeah, <you're fine. laughs> yeah, you could do that. I guess this is what I deserve for not stalling it, eh? I guess I've got to apple this just to try to win the game now. <laughs> Fuck's sake. No, I swore there by accident, sorry. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe not a long beard now, eh? I'm just trying not to twice out. No real reason. I'm gonna find everyone who plays Norse in real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. <laughs> oh dear Pedro. Il s'est emparé du ballon. Très judicieux de sa part puisqu'il faut le ballon. Fireball there. Nah, cuz I need one of the two to go down. Be seventy five percent work instead of eighty three. There is time to get forward and score actually off it. I don't actually hate this. This there could be like he's not basing anybody, he split his team already. Now I might need it for offense. I'm one nil up, I might need it for offense. He's definitely got more shit round this side. More stuff round this side. But he can still easily go the other way, so I think just bring these guys up. That could have been a really good fireball. Because I didn't realise I'd got an extra one. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't realise I'd got an extra one. That's the simple answer. I know I've got three rerolls and I know I'd used one reroll. And I just didn't know I'd got an extra reroll. Oh good, if I'd rerolled it it'd mean a scotch. <laughs> Classic. Also, it was the turnover. So <laughs> so there was that. I don't like whiskey or wine, Pedro. So there you go. So I'd pick beer. As to what you should drink, I don't care at all. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> Stupid question to ask random people. <laughs> I 
He's not in range, is he? This guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's not in range. So I don't have to worry about him at all. There's only really him in range. Yeah, there's only him in range at the moment. One player in range. Yep, no slayers. Sorry, Unsee, I know, I know you like your slayers, but no slayers. Alright, this is that is really annoying actually that because I was gonna punch him. Punch him. So I've got a 1D him. Uphill him with a loner. Uphill him with a non loner. And then 2D him, and that doesn't work. Right, I think he just has to base. I think we go for the 3 plus then, and then 2D him. The GFI is so much better, isn't it? Because the GFI pushes him here for another hit. I guess I shouldn't have based him there, I could have based him here, couldn't I? And then I could have hit him there, it wouldn't have got me extra hit, but it would have saved the GFI. I re didn't really want to push him close at the end zone. Maybe I mean, did actually. I'd have at least had the guard next to him, wouldn't I? Good luck with that unseen. Remember that Stan Firm is the best skill in the game. And uh, only the big brain people have guard, uh, have Stan Firm, and it's the best. And if anyone doesn't take guard, they're totally wrong. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. brilliant yeah. He's going to score this, isn't he? I just really didn't want to push him. I, I, I totally should have put the runner in a different square. Runner should have been one up. Or even one down, just not where he was. I probably should have handed off to him. Draw the six. Hey! <laughs> God. Oh God. Oh no, it's him. Oh God, I thought that was over then for sure. Right. Gonna surf him, kill him instead. <laughs> it's all right, I guess. I guess that's okay, killing him instead of surfing him. Oh.
You've got reserves anyway, so. Oh, he appalled it, he appalled it there. He's still down a guard, that's good. Three, six, nine. He's still got 11, but he's down in quality. Missing missing a guard blitz was pretty good. Obviously 1-0 up with a wizard. So, fingers crossed it's all right. Hello, Scooter. I don't know if I've said hello, but hello. Hello, everybody. I haven't said hello to. <laughs> feel terrible today. I've had some painkillers. I've got horrible migraine. So brainless dwarves it is. Sensual greens. <laughs> no, seasonal. Like dandelion. And cress. I had, I had a team called the Dandy Lions that was uh, Orcs. There you go. <laughs> yeah, WTF, yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm sure he wants Suffy. I like how you've already got a gimp mask ready, Flicky Flack. But I'm sure he won't be. I'm sure he won't suffer years and years of uh, psychological trauma from it. <laughs> uh, oh God, he's all, he's all men's LOS. That was not a good play, in my opinion. It'll probably work out brilliantly for him, of course. But it probably shouldn't. <laughs> Don't put seven either. <laughs> yeah. yeah, three on the LOS. Your three worst players usually. If you want to put three Black Orcs, you can sometimes. We've got a rule about putting Black Orcs on the LOS. It's do it sometimes. I mean, versus Elves put seven on the LOS is fine, I guess, sometimes. But if you're putting good players on the LOS, it's to deny LOS hits at all, really, isn't it? And this isn't doing that. That was a one -er. I made a mistake. No one's perfect. <laughs> I had to block there because I was going to block him the other way with him. I didn't even put my strength six Saurus on the other ones. Personally. Because, yeah, if you give up seven blocks, <laughs> then your chance of losing somebody is pretty high, isn't it? Even with armor nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, right in the middle. Right in the middle is good. Uh, did I sometimes? Oh yeah, okay then. Fair enough. Yeah, I guess. I, I guess. But generally, I didn't. Did I? Generally, I tried to protect him. 
Because you don't want him just fighting, like, people like to, especially rebelers, you'll notice, they want to fight as many people as possible. They're always like, try and get your mummies onto three players. You don't want them on three players, because then they'll get knocked over. <laughs> you know, you don't want your crocs on three players, then he just gets knocked over. You want you want them to n never get knocked over, so you want them, like, two on one, don't you? Pretty much all the time, big guys, two on one. So they're dominating two people, they're not getting blocked back. Uh, no, I don't think so. Barasco. If we hadn't scummed the wizard, maybe. But need to save money. If he gets MVP as well, then yes. Mike's getting punched. Risky business, though. Got Lona. He can do D him, and then he can run to here. I think putting this in is better, safer. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, yeah, that's hard. That's hard to get around that way. Skull here is fine. <laughs> so is the one deep out. Who knows, Quiet Composer, I think there's a bit of journeyman abuse. I think there's a bit of journeyman abuse. Especially when you're 500 TV more than somebody. Money for scumming wizards, cool. <laughs> Money for scumming wizards like the last wizard we scummed. Where's the rookie here? No, he's trapped. He's trapped on a black hole. That's that's not good for his touchdown ambitions. <laughs> he's ten versus nine now, isn't he? So got a bit of an advantage. Banja. Hello, 
for Fun Fox. This is getting a little bit dodgy now, isn't it? All these. <laughs> the, him at the back as well, and all these loners. It's a little bit dodgy. Be quads for sure, then. <laughs> what a stupid game. <laughs> what a stupid game Blood Bowl is, eh? I didn't really want to do that. <laughs> it's easier to knock him down, isn't it? Should've just uh, eye caged. He's gotta win the turn. He still has all the all the strength on the field and he's still got four strength guys. So it's a little bit dodgy. They fixed it a bit, I don't know exactly what it is. So I think it spins at four yeah, so if you've got a eleven ninety team with three well, a better example is 1290, right? A 1290 TV team with three journeymen still matches as if it's 1500. It just it just affects the maximum and minimum matchups. So, for example, a... In fact, what's even better is a 1500 TV team. It still spins at 1710. But it can get it can get matched to a thousand. <laughs> so you know, it's just daft, isn't it? It sure looks it, Pedro. I didn't want it for free. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> yeah. I had two chances of a free copy because I could have asked. I could have asked Focus and might have got one. And then Tony, uh, Tony, Tony gifted me one on Steam, but I rejected it. <laughs> <laughs> There's the potential scorer, that's not looking good for him. Uh. 
Yeah, it could have been great. It just seems... Hello, Tom Schnees. Um... <laughs> yeah, that's the thing in it, so I feel. That, that's what worries me about the eye racing, right? Because I'm obviously not getting any younger, so... By the time I become competent at eye racing, I'll probably be too bloody old to play it anymore. Yeah, it was like more, it was just reskin more time. Also, it's only five aside, which to me isn't even Necromunda, is it? Like, that just fails. It just fails at being a Necromunda game. As much as anything. Five aside is not Necromunda. Unless it's with Spyros. <laughs> yeah, fun, fun. I was thinking, even if I like do it for you know like eight hours a day for five years to be good at it, by that time I'm forty-five and I'm just old, aren't I? It's not going to be. It's just going to be terrible. When you say more time, do you mean the video game or the tabletop game? The tabletop more time is great, far better than the tabletop Necromunda. More time. <laughs> no, ta this is the funniest thing, right? The tabletop more time was uh, was just shoot people with crossbows, and <laughs> and tabletop uh, tabletop necromunda was attack people in combat. <laughs> Yeah, I love, I love Tabletop Mode. I'm much better, much better game than Necromunda. Though, of course, Necromunda was a, a better setting and everything. Like, everybody loved Necromunda more than they loved Mordheim. But I do think um, Mordheim is a better game. Jumpy Jim loves Mordheim, doesn't he, the, the computer game? It looked trash when I saw I, I saw people streaming Mordheim and it looked terrible. As I never played that, and then uh, obviously Necromunda. I thought this is just going to be a reskin of that, so why would I want to play it? <laughs> so I didn't. Mister Thrall. Get cast on, Mr. Throat. Kind of tempted just to run a little bit since I got the rerolls. Wouldn't mind scoring on him to get him to 13. <laughs> Analysis paralysis, yeah, run out of time. Not a good idea. Beast men best 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 be beast men best band. I don't know what's that I feel. It depends, doesn't it? it? Depends what beast men weren't in the real rules, were they? So they they were one of the later editions, and obviously having two wounds on everybody is insane. Um, but so then once you get to the added ones from like the Citadel journals, was it? Then it just depends, and it depends what optional rules you're using as well. Because like if you allow steeds and everything. 
which I thought was always stupid allowing steeds because it just doesn't make any sense does it like you you like gans in Mordheim like how stupid how stupid was it to have gans in Mordheim that were there to get some money and they had like barded war horses and stuff it was just stupid so um so yeah I kind of like didn't like that but so there were, there were uh, you know there were a lot of rules that I didn't like that they added town crier yeah so like there were a lot of rules they added so I, I, I never played with or against beast men but I can imagine them being very strong with uh, two wounds each um, dwarves were incredible for getting magic items I had dwarves I started off with uh, Reichlanders which were completely OP with a million crossbows and then um, and then I got dwarves which were ridiculously OP for being an, men, an army full of crossbows but now with toughness 4 instead of toughness 3 and harder to take out in combat and special axes and they were just they were just better than but, and they had got loads of magic items as well so they were pretty ridiculous dwarves were pretty ridiculous to be honest I got like all of the magic items in in a few weeks of playing. It was just stupid. <laughs> I play on Xbox. I don't have to blitz him. Fucking put the wrong guy in. He was one I was going to score with. Annoying. Yeah, but you still had a maximum of 15 or whatever, didn't you? So, like, in the old days, I mean, you're talking about early on, right, Satterfield? Later on, you, it didn't matter how much things cost because you just had a massive warband anyway. You still had max characters of, of dwarves and everyone had crossbows. So you could only have 15 guys or whatever, and I still had 15 guys, except all my guys have got crossbows. And so all, your, and your, all of your guys are dead. So, yeah, very early... I mean, very early, I would start off with just everybody had hammers. You know, like uh, Mordheim, uh, what's it called? My my starting gang for humans was just like, uh, well, Reichlanders, was like all marksmen with a hammer. <laughs> and, uh, and young bloods with two daggers. And um, so, you know, that way you could max 15 players. 15 men, not players, 15 men. And then, you know, just outnumbering and having uh, hammers and daggers was good enough, you know. Hello, little bads. And then uh, Skaven were the best at outnumbering because they could have the extra play extra men, couldn't they? They could have uh, giant rats and stuff, so they could have like 18 on a wall band. But once you got some... Like, cause I used to play it in a games workshop. Um, like, store league. And once, so you know, I did, I did get to level my guys up and everything. And once you level your guys up, then dwarves just take take over completely. Yeah. Well, what I did was I got, um, I gave people, you know, 
two hammers and then um, the, the dagger that was left over went to the young blood. And then the young bloods, the two young bloods had two daggers, and then they would just run up and stab people were taken out. <laughs> stab, stab people were taken out of action. Those, those were the good old days. Right. Trying to hand off to him and then score with him. One, two, three, four, five after GFI. Ce joueur préfère se battre entouré. Le soutien suffira à s'il apprend le dessus. Yeah, you know, it's going to be hard to protect the ball here. Transmission, un choix prudent. C'est ça, un bon coup de ballon dans la passe. À cette distance, ça fait aussi mal qu'un coup de pied dans les mandibules. Fuck it. No. No! Phew. <laughs> All right, good. Got the right SPPs. Now I can do a spike fireball. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should have done that fireball earlier then. Probably should have done that fireball in the first half. I really did think it was a decent shot of the fireball. I would have done if I was any race except dwarves, I think. I guess I could have just bolted the guy who was in range, couldn't I, instead of uh, dodging out the blitzing and that. That's what I should. That's when I should have used the wizard. I should have bolted that guy. God, I loved Hero Quest and Advanced Hero Quest. Second tab, that's why I randomly mentioned it. Yeah. I know it's not a spike. People call it a spike. It's just sensible. It's sensible to foul every time you go. And you, every chance you get it's different one point this game. Fireballs can protect us for turn 16, never mind next game. He made two cards off the LOS last last drive, didn't he? Wow, I can't believe that wasn't a Kaz. Took so long to decide. I'm sure it was going to be a cast. Good question, Salas lad. Good question. Depends if you've got reserves at all. I'd say if you've got a bench, sure feet. If you haven't got a bench block. Beastman, I'm sure Beastman good. We're good with two wounds each. Yeah, probably block them if you haven't got if you haven't got reserves. Um, 
I mean, beastmen were historically OP with with two wounds, but it would depend, you know, what what you were you what rules you were using. Like, because having barded warhorses and everything was pretty stupid, and like, but obviously, if you weren't allowed war ho- barded warhorses, then dwarves get a lot better, right? So, I think we, I think, um, I think, <laughs> I think there was a we had a campaign where we allowed like barded warhorses, right? So I had a I had a gang of like fifteen guys on barded warhorses with <laughs> with uh, crossbows and stuff, right? So they were like, "This is stupid." So they were like, "No, no barded warhorses." So I was like, "Right, well I'll have dwarves then, because <laughs> it doesn't matter that I don't get barded warhorses." I was alive. It, you only had, I only had six, but um, it was still stupid. I haven't fi- I haven't fireballed at the end of turn. End of turn. Does he talk more bloody more than him? Nice. <laughs> Horrible as I expected. I mean it's it's it is a compliment, isn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna push this guy into uh into the fireball zone. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, the Lona resisted. What an absolute badass. <laughs> Deliberately hit the Lona because I thought it would be funny. Hello, Kiwi. Is that the lawn on two SPPs? No. But he doesn't steal it if I get the MVP muff. I mean, I could hire him anyway. <laughs> it was kind of shit because I kind of, I kind of agreed that he sucked them. But I didn't mean it. It just does take a long time to get good, isn't it? I'm not really saying he sucked, but it takes a long time to get good. Especially as the level, the level is so much higher when you're comparing it to like online and everything. It was different back when I started playing. Um, I'm not going to hire him just with two. It was different when I started playing on, you know, and there was no online play at all. And, you know, I, I remember the first time someone one turn touchdown against me and it was it blew my absolute mind, whereas now it's pretty normal for people who've just started to know about one turning and stuff, isn't it? So. <laughs> I don't want, I don't want him. <laughs> Little pass. <laughs> I don't want him. Right, so there you go. J Cancel is nearly level. J five is nearly level. One Kaz for him. Touchdown for him. These are both a touchdown or an MVP away. Lovely. He's a touchdown or a Kaz. More likely a Kaz. He's an MVP away. He needs a touchdown if anyone does. Alright, pretty good. Um, thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.